Peggy 12. I'm Ryozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. Today, we will be bringing you the latest information on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, the massive expansion to Monster Hunter Rise, which is scheduled to be released in summer 2022. We have plenty of new updates to share with you, so make sure you keep watching until the end. With that, let's kick things off with a look at a new trailer for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Enjoy! I present the Hunter from Komura. Humble greetings. All right, everyone. Please stand. Here, I'm merely a quest receptionist. As you could see at the end of the trailer, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is scheduled for a global release on June 30, 2022. Today, we'll tell you more about game info and pre-order details, so we hope you enjoy the show. Now, let's look at what this game has to offer, including what you saw in the trailer just now. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is the massive expansion to Monster Hunter Rise. 
It's filled with new content that builds on the base game, such as a new story starting at a new base, new locales, monsters, gameplay mechanics, and a new hunter rank called the Master Rank. Right, now let's take a look at some of the new elements of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, starting with an all new locale. The Citadel features various environments ranging from lush forests to icy mountains, each teeming with never before seen endemic life. At the center lies an old fortress, long abandoned to nature. The remnants of a once prosperous civilization now serve as a bastion for dangerous monsters. In the surrounding woodland area resides the mighty fanged beast, Garengolm. This behemoth may seem docile at first, but it won't hesitate to attack with its huge body. Once enraged, its left arm is covered in moss and its right arm in magma, allowing it to attack with both fire and water elements to make it nearly unstoppable. Next up, we have the fanged wyvern, Lunagarin. This monster can cover its body in ice to act as body armor. When enraged, Lunagarin reveals its true form, standing on hind legs and thrashing its claws with deadly precision. It's rumored that there's nothing that its claws cannot shred to pieces. What's more, a new subspecies of the mischievous Bishaten has been discovered. Be careful though, instead of throwing persimmons, this Bishaten throws exploding pine cones. And last but not least, the powerhouse Astalos makes a return appearance. This flying wyvern can generate electricity, which it stores in its horn, wings, and tail. When all parts are fully charged, the power of its attacks becomes truly devastating. Following the events of the rampage at Kimura, which saw our hunter and companion successfully defend the village against the imminent onslaught of monster hordes, Peace had finally been restored. Or so we thought. The Sunbreak arc begins with the sudden appearance of the ferocious Lunagaran at the Shrine Ruins. There we are confronted by Dame Fiorain, a knight from a distant kingdom. You're in good hands. She seeks aid in the investigation of a terrible threat that faces her homeland. Thus, our hunter sets out for the Elgato outpost. Having saved Kimura village from the calamity, the hunter is tasked by their friends to set out to Elgato, a research outpost in a distant country. Elgato is both a bustling port town with lots of trade, as well as a research facility to investigate monsters. So it's got all the conveniences a hunter requires. You'll even find a familiar tea shop, popular as ever. The command post located in town serves as the base of operations. Progress is made every day to solve the mystery of the anomaly plaguing the monsters in the kingdom. This research is headed by Admiral Gallius. Ah, Hunter. Leader of Fiorain and the other royal knights. This is Bahari, the quirky scientist. Counting on you to come through. He's known to be a genius researcher, but he's also kind of oblivious to the world around him. There is also Chiche, Elgato's quest damsel. You'll be getting your quest from her. Why, hello. Don't let appearances fool you, though. There's more to Chiche than meets the eye. 
You'll also meet other characters, like Minail, the blacksmith. All right, let's make it happen. Oboro, the merchant. Here's what I have to offer. And a full cast of interesting individuals who will aid you in your hunt. So far, the investigation in Elgato has identified Garangolm, Lunagarin, and the Elder Dragon, Malzino, as the three biggest threats to the kingdom. These priority targets are referred to as the Three Lords. Team up with the Knights of the Royal Order to save the kingdom from Malzino and the impending calamity. Hone your agility with new wirebug actions. Explore new locales packed with unique monsters and take on new master rank quests. It's a new adventure in an unknown world for your hunter. Next, let's go over some product information for the release of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak on June 30th, 2022. Those who already own either the physical or digital versions of Monster Hunter Rise and only want to purchase the expansion can pick up the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak as downloadable content. Also available for purchase is the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Deluxe Edition, which features the Sunbreak expansion as well as additional bonus contents such as layered armor sets, gestures, and hairstyles. Those who would like to start playing from the beginning of the base game can pick up the Monster Hunter Rise plus Sunbreak set to experience the full package. This contains the main game of Monster Hunter Rise plus the expansion Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak in one convenient set. This is a great option if you want to start with Monster Hunter Rise, complete it, and then move seamlessly into the Sunbreak expansion. We've got some purchase bonuses as well, which include layered armor for both your Palico and your Palmute. Make sure to pre-order the game so you don't miss out. We will also be releasing three new Amiibo for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. You can use these amiibo to unlock special layered armor in the game and to make use of the daily lottery to gain a variety of useful items. You won't want to miss out on these. Pre-orders for the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will start according to the following schedule. So, mark your calendars. For more details on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, be sure to check out the official website. Moving along, I'd like to share some news about the Monster Hunter Rise base game. Oh, that's my pup. As previously announced, players will be able to access Sunbreak's new content after completing the seven-star hub quest, Serpent Goddess of Thunder, in Monster Hunter Rise. <sighs> to help players meet this requirement, we are currently distributing powerful support items. All items will be provided free of charge to aid players who are new to the game. These items include the Defender series for all 14 weapon types, the Black Belt Hunter Armor, and the Veteran's Talisman. Defender weapons have high attack power, which can be very helpful in early quests. The Black Belt Hunter Armor boasts high defense and can activate useful skills, such as increased attack power or recovery. You'll also be able to claim layered armor sets from your old pal Senri the Mailman.
There's also the Guild Cross set, which is useful if you want to gather harvesting items and reach high rank quests more quickly. On top of this, you can look forward to new event quests and various contents, which will continue to be released until March 25th. Use these beginner-friendly weapons and armor to prepare yourself for Sunbreak, or for trying out any of the event quests and collab quests you haven't played yet. We have some news about a patch for Monster Hunter Rise as well. On the release of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, Monster Hunter Rise will receive a title update. This allows players to access certain content from Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Even if you haven't purchased the expansion, this update will adjust weapon balance, as well as add item packs and character edit vouchers from the day Sunbreak is released. This update is also required for online play. We anticipate that this update will need about 13 gigabytes of storage, so please plan accordingly and make sure you have enough free space on your storage device. Next up, a reminder for players in Europe, North America, and Australia that a free trial of Monster Hunter Rise for the Nintendo Switch system is currently available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. The game trial is available between March 11th and 17th and lets you continue your save data after purchasing the full game. If you haven't already bought Monster Hunter Rise, please check the game trial out while it's still available. More details are available on your local official Nintendo websites and Nintendo eShop. If you're interested in trying out Monster Hunter Rise, I strongly encourage you to take part in the game trial and experience the game for yourself. The digital version of Monster Hunter Rise will also be on sale for a limited time, so now's your chance to pick it up. That wraps it up for today's announcements. There's still plenty more to talk about though, so we'll have more information detailing new monsters and gameplay to share with you in the future, so stay tuned. To reiterate, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will release worldwide on June 30, 2022. We plan on releasing several free title updates after its initial release. We'll keep you updated on this in future announcements. Thank you for tuning in to today's special Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak digital event. Something odious.